Let's talk about five house plants that you can depend on to remove nitrates from your fish tank and help reduce water changes. These plants have worked extremely well for me over the years and I'm going to show you a few examples of where these plants have made the biggest impact in some of my tanks and we'll discuss the big question. Does this really work? Can these plants actually reduce water changes? Well, first let's talk about the three characteristics of a good nitrate removing plant and why not all house plants are equally effective. So what makes certain plants particularly good at removing nitrates? Well, number one, they will be fast growing. All plants need nitrogen to form leaves and if they grow quickly or they have large or thick leaves, that means they're taking up a lot of nitrates as fuel for that growth. Number two, they will have a large root system that supports that overall rapid growth. And thirdly, they will be adaptable to water, of course, but also to different light levels. So whether the light is low or high, the plants to some degree are still photosynthesizing, still taking up nitrates. Many house plants can grow in water, but some grow slowly with a smaller root system. And while they are still taking up nitrates, it is a minuscule amount compared to ones that grow rapidly and have that large root system. Well, now let's go over the five plants and a few examples of how they've worked for me. Number one is dwarf umbrella sedge. It's widely been used as an outdoor pond plant for water purification, but it also makes a great house plant and is an excellent option for nitrate removal in a fish tank. It grows about three feet tall and it spreads outwardly by each new shoot that comes up, adding to the overall size of the clump over time. I've been growing it in this 75 gallon tank and I've had to divide and remove about half of the overall amount uh, three different times in the last year. Number two on the list is Monstera Deliciosa, arguably the best of these five at nitrate removal. The downside to it is its size. You will need a large tank to grow this plant long term. It has tremendous leaves and a vine and growth habit that will need a lot of air space and support over time. I have one growing out in the greenhouse in a stock tank and I haven't needed to change the water in the tank for months. Thankfully, there's a smaller variety which is better suited to a wider range of tank sizes. This smaller variety is called Monstera adansoni. It is even small enough to grow in nano tanks or a jar like this one. The vines can get long over time, but the leaves stay small. It's just an easier size to manage overall. And you can prune the excess growth as needed and it propagates easily. Number four on our list is pothos. This is one of the first house plants that I started growing in a fish tank and pothos in general has received a lot of attention over the years and has developed a wide reputation as being the go-to house plant for water purification. I like to grow mine in most of my tanks and I let the roots grow down and tap into the substrate. I can always tell when they start feeding from the substrate because there'll be this increase in growth rate and stem and leaf size. It can reach a point where the growth slows down as the vines get bigger. So a few times a year, I'll prune mine back just to keep them stimulated and feeding and growing. But some of the vines I do leave alone just because I want to see how long they can get. Number five is Peace Lily another reputable water purifier. I've used it repeatedly in different projects over the years. My most recent use of it has been in the Neon Tetra Blackwater tank, which has been set up for over three months now. And since I set the tank up, I've been consistently testing the water and performing water changes as needed. But I reached a point about four weeks ago where the nitrates were barely even showing up on the test and of course the nitrite level has been zero the whole time. So I stopped doing water changes and I've just been topping off the water level since then. I do continue to test the water uh, weekly to make sure those nitrate levels are staying low. Uh, so this plant, this peace lily, has definitely made a big impact on this tank. Peace lily can reach a point where it all but stops growing. Like many plants, it matures and simply slows down and maintains its mature size. When this happens, I will divide the plant 
and basically just start over with some of the divisions and that way it's increasing its growth rate again uh, kicking that high metabolism up so to speak pulling those nitrates out of the water well now for the big question can these plants actually reduce the need for water changes well that depends on a couple of things as long as the plants are actively growing they have enough light enough nutrients and the amount of plants that you're using the size the volume whatever is proportionate to the size of the bio load of the tank then it will reduce the need for water changes and there are some videos out there where people conduct this experiment they want to see if the claims are true can house plants really reduce the need for water changes so they'll take three or four uh, cuttings of pothos that may or may not be rooted yet put them in an overstocked 55 gallon tank that's in the darkest possible corner of the house or fish room or wherever and then they're they're surprised when the experiment fails well what actually failed was they failed to use the appropriate amount of plants or size plants uh, proportionate to the bio load of that tank and they didn't provide optimal lighting conditions so that the plant is actually growing pulling nitrates out of the water so there can be other factors at work of why some of these experiments fail but this is a common mistake that I see people making to one degree or another so use enough plants for the size tank that you have provide enough light so the plants are actually growing and be sure to test your water consistently and be patient just keep in mind that each tank is different and the black water tank I mentioned earlier took over two months to balance out some take some tanks will take more time others will take less time as with many things in life patience and consistency is important